What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change your image into an oil painting in Photoshop. Now to achieve this look, it is really simple to do, so whether you're a beginner in Photoshop, you'll be able to follow this very simply. Now as always, if there's any specific tutorials you guys want to see in Photoshop, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to do them. So here we are in Photoshop and this is the image I'll be using. So the first thing we need to do is go over to our layers tab and we want to duplicate our layer. So just press Ctrl J on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can just right click and select duplicate layer. Now from this point on, we're going to be working with this top layer. And the first thing we're going to be doing is going over to filter. And from here, you want to select filter gallery. Now what you want to do is head over to artistic. And from here, you want to select poster edges. Now these are the settings you'll need to do for the first one where it says edge thickness, put 10. For the edge intensity, put 10. And for the posteriorization, you can just leave at 2. And then make sure the eye is checked here. If it's not, it should be by default. And then just select OK. So you can see this is now what we have with our image. The next thing we're going to be doing is heading over to image, selecting adjustments. And from here, we're going to go over to threshold. And from here, you're going to be changing the threshold. I would recommend anywhere between 45 to 55. So I'm going to select 50 and this is the effect we get. And I'm going to select OK. So now we're going to be adding on the oil paint effect. And to do that, we're going to head over to filter and we're going to select stylize. And from here, self-explanatory, we're going to select oil paint. And these are the settings you need to copy. So for stylization set to five, for cleanliness set two, and for the rest, you can leave default. From there, just select OK. So this is now the effect we get. Now the next step, we're going to be duplicating the original image. So not the one we've been working on, the one which we haven't touched, which is the bottom layer. Again, press Ctrl J on your keyboard or right click and select duplicate layer. You can call this something else. I'll just call it three and select OK. The first thing we're going to be doing is heading over to filter and filter gallery. Now from here, you're going to select poster edges again but this time the edge thickness is going to be zero and the edge intensity is also going to be zero. From there, you can select OK. Now, another thing I forgot to mention, the top layer, which is this one we've been working on throughout the video, just hide it by pressing the I. So you can see we can now see that type of effect we've just done to this image. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is lowering the contrast on the image. Now, the way we're going to be doing that is heading over to image adjustments and selecting levels. Now the output levels on the left, you want to drag it closer to the center so it lowers the contrast like this, as you can see. From there, just select OK. Next, we're going to head over to Image, Adjustments, and this time we're going to select Hue and Saturation. All we're going to be adjusting is the saturation. Now this depends on your image. For me, I do recommend between 30 to 50. If it doesn't look good for you, then of course, by all means, you can go up even further. I'm going to pick 35 for my image, and I'm going to select OK. Now we're going to be softening the colors again using the oil painting effect. So we're going to head over to filter, stylize and oil paint. Now the only thing we're going to be changing this time is the cleanliness from two to seven. Everything else can stay the same and select OK. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is pressing the eye on our top layer and also selects that top layer and change the blending mode to multiply. And the final step we're going to be doing on this top layer, we're going to be selecting the effects button and selecting levels. And from here, all we're going to be doing is dragging the lows and the highs towards the center. And just like that, you are done. That is how simple it is to create an oil paint effect in Photoshop. As always, if this tutorial has come across as useful, I'd appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and also comment your thoughts on this video. And also, if you would like to request a tutorial, just let me know in the comments below.